Good morning everyone, today we're checking out a brand new video from Connie X about the Eventual 2 Digimon. Now, well, the question of today's video is, what could it be like if they could spit it Digivolve? If you don't know what, uh, if you don't know what spit Digivolution is, you may have missed out on, on Series 4 Digimon Frontier. No, wait, that was Data Squad. Series 5, I mean then. <laughs> Either way, let's hop in and I'll let Khan explain it. So I postulated what it might look like using existing Digimon if Digimon Adventure Partners Spirits Digivolve, like in Digimon Frontier instead oh, of having that video. Digimon. That video was pretty successful, people wanted to see other seasons, so of course the next season had to be Digimon Adventure Zero Two. Thank you to oh, my yeah. Davis on patreon.com forward slash carnyx for making that custom art thumbnail possible by the way, appreciate you all very much. So yeah, on today's video, Davis, Ken, Yoli, Cody, TK and Kari are all gonna Spirit Digivolve. Let's go. Three, two, one, boom. What is up, digital companions? My name is Khan EX, and welcome back to another video. And yes, today we are going to be giving spirit evolutions to the Zero Two Kids. This will be using existing Digimon. I know it's probably likely that Toei would make brand new Digimon for these, but the budget is budgeting these days. A lot of expenses <laughs> going on right now. But thank you to my Davis sovereigns over on Patreon.com forward slash Khan EX. We have mm -hmm. got two or three custom art videos in the fires right now coming to you hey, very that's soon. Really my general nice. thought process is that it would be similar to Digimon Frontier, right? We're going to explore what the human spirit, the beast spirit, and the hybrid spirit might look like. I don't really have any ideas mm -hmm. as to how an Emperor Greymon or Magna Garurumon situation would happen, and a Sasanoemon situation just isn't possible with existing Digimon, I don't think. Oh, yeah, Although no. maybe Sasanoemon could just be the complete unified version of any of these spirit Digimon we create. I'm also going to be avoiding yeah, Digimon that were that. in this season, so no XVmon for Davis, and no Armor Digimon for any of these. It would be That's really fine. easy just to give Davis Ragemon as his beast spirit, not going to do it. Also similar to the first yeah. video, I'm less concerned about levels and more so about visual connection, but I'm going to try and keep human spirits within about the range of adult level or champion, beast spirits between champion and ultimates, and the hybrid spirits are around mega or ultimate. An interesting thing this That's time is right. also that Davis, Yoli, and Cody have two crests, so I'm trying to hybridize, find something that I think matches their partner Digimon, but also maybe the crest that they're associated with. And beginning Ooh, with Davis, I think a completely obvious human spirit for him would be Chaos Gammon. I use really Beetle now? Gammon for Ty, and given Davis is a association with the crest of friendship and the crest of courage a blue dinosaur a blue <laughs> dragon i think works fantastically for me and given that xv you know, is a blue yes. dragon with wings i think chaos gammon being a blue dinosaur with gliding wings just feels really good yeah and that's like with fine Ty, i even think there's a similarity between chaos gammon's head points and davis's spiky hair funnily enough i'm also gonna pull from <laughs> digimon ghost game all about the hell spikes <laughs> for davis's beast spirit giving him zanmetsumon it's this sort really of now? weird beast dragon Digimon that to me looks like it could really easily be an evolution of Raidramon. But obviously on Gammon's B right. memory, Zanmetsumon could also digivolve from Chaos Gammon. It was on that same mm -hmm. B memory. Zanmetsumon definitely He's looks right. really beastly, and I can definitely see how it could be a slide evolution from Chaos Gammon with some of those blues under there. Especially if you look at the BT16 card of it, you can see a lot more blue going on. I just that think it works great as a B spirit for Davis. For their hybrid though, trying to find a Digimon that looks like a merging of Chaos Gammon and Zanmetsumon did prove a little bit more difficult. Yeah, but like some kind of flying sword master. Now, obviously, we could jump to a V Tamer reference and fold back in the Vmon family by having the Mega be All Force Vidramon or indeed All Force Vidramon future mode. And I like that a lot. Yeah, but hey, I think well, Dynasmon <laughs> being a holy knight and kind of draconic, a wyvern, still works in that respect. It feels a little bit visually more close to Chaos Gammon and Zanmetsumon. However, I think All Force Vidramon does hit a lot of those things too. So either of these I'm happy with. Moving over to Yoli, she's associated with the Armored digi eggs and therefore crests love of love and sincerity. sincerity as well as being partnered with a hawkmon my initial thought process here was making her human spirit be darkmon i didn't mm. use it last time because i think it works very well for yo lee it's very humanoid yeah. like the human spirits of frontier while folding in more bird elements and kind of giving a bit of a holy vibe i think like it could be a sister digimon to sylphimon and darkmon to me feels pretty close especially to fairymon fitting as yo lee would kind of be the yep. zoe of this group or one of the zoes of this group another human well, spirit we could she's one of the only actual new females of the group go for though that's a so, little bit more abstract is Sun Flaumon. Does lack the really femininity now. which I'm not a fan of although of course it gains femininity when it becomes Lylamon and hell if you want to use Lylamon as a human spirit you totally could but Sun Flaumon yeah. does have these little wings which could kind of fold in the bird flying elements of love and the grass elements of sincerity. Either way yeah. Darkmon or Sun Flaumon, the beast spirit to me a no brainer is Parasaurmon. It is a bird plant dinosaur. Does that thing have bananas on its head? Huh. 
Hey, Tropius! Apparently you got some competition. So, and while its headpiece and feathers likely are inspired by a different part of the world, I do still think it very much to me evokes Hawkmon. And in another fun twist, Hawkmon's courage armadage evolution is Alomon, which is a dinosaur that looks Ooh. very similar to Parasaurmon in a lot of ways. And this whole Parasaurmon evolution line, Pomimon, Parasaurmon, and Teropiamon, do you sort of have elements of birds as well as dinosaurs kind of mixing in more elements of the ground. connection between dinosaurs and birds in real world evolution. So I think that works quite well. Teropiamon also would be a kind of great hybrid spirit for these two, whether you use Sunflowermon and Parasomon or Darkmon and Parasomon, kind of. However, I think it would be much better to go for something like either Cerismon, Grand Galemon, or Zephargamon. Cerismon I've talked about a long time now, how it feels like a combination of love and sincerity in adventure. You've got the bird yeah. elements and the grass elements, but some new contenders from Digimon Liberator are Grand Galemon and Zephargamon. I like Grand and Galemon, I don't know why. Being these green birds. I think Zephargamon also works because its root word, Zephyr or Zephyr, is the same root word as the dub name for Shutumon, Zephyrmon. Again, creating oh, a yeah. connection between Yoli and Zoe. And that's why I'm actually leaning more towards Zephargamon over Cerismon, although Cerismon is great. Maybe again, it's just recency bias, but I love it here. But either of them work great in my opinion. I'll give Cody, that he's the little guy of the group. Not quite as little feeling as TK and Kari in season one, but still a little guy. So I'm looking for a human spirit that looks like Chakmon, the way that Chakmon is much smaller to match Tommy's physicality mm -hmm. slight. This isn't a hard and fast rule. We're looking for small. Rule in Frontier, for example, JP becomes Beetlemon and is no longer fat. But I think it's more about idealized forms, and Tommy's idealized form, at least at the human spirit, isn't tall, I guess. Although, again, spirit Digimon kind of aren't connected to the person that uses it because oh, Digimon well. and stuff like that can use the spirit, and more so it's just about the innate power. However, I think outside of the lore of the show, it's very clear that these spirit forms are based on the kids who become them. For example, Zoe, yeah. the only girl yeah. of the group, becoming the only Digimon, the only spirit Digimon that present as feminine. And I I really like for uh no what about the aquatic spirits that's evil okay well i guess since that one doesn't have a, a human element okay okay no i Foot, meat, mouth. Let's move on. Cody is Hookmon. It has an obvious really aquatic now. theme like Submarimon is smaller in stature and has colors overall of reliability and knowledge armors. Yeah, purples, purple whites, and golds. You could even really stretch this out and say that Hookmon's hook is like a gold spiky thing, not dissimilar to a drill of knowledge. Okay, that's a Come lot. But I do think this looks like a really good human spirit, and if Cody had some kind of merge reliability knowledge spirit, I, I think that would work really well. For his beast spirit, mm. time on a tradition, we're going to use Frozomon here. Frozomon has a good connect to the yeah, reliability well. crest, being this like icy Digimon, plus being a vehicle very similar to Submarimon, and its hot shank could definitely make some holes, uh, maybe not drill holes, but still, you know, <laughs> vehicles, equipment, there's an overlap holes. of step, reliability step, and knowledge step, there step. somewhere. Their hybrid spirit, I think, is probably the toughest one in this video. My brain initially went to Raidenmon, but I'm not confident that's a great pick. Raidenmon is a huge, literal machine ground vehicle, again, combining the reliability side with the knowledge side, mm -hmm. of both kind of having excavation and vehicle themings going on. However, it does lose a lot of ice Very or big. water elements, which I think would be important to Cody somewhat. Aegisdramon, I also think, is a fantastic contender, although perhaps a little bit too kind of crazy and beastly, but then so is Raidenmon, I guess. Honestly, I think even though the Amphimon kind of skews feminine in its presentation, that might only be Hello. by association. I mean, its pink coloration doesn't necessarily make it a girl, you know? Look at Lord Nightmon, which is typically depicted as male, or at least male presenting. Amphimon could work quite well, I think, for a Cody spirit high Hybrid. But yeah, mm -hmm. Amphimon, Raidenmon, or even Aegisdramon. I'm kind of happy with any of these. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm sure there's one I've not thought of. TK, so yeah, in Zero I'm Two, sure. he is no longer small. He is no longer one of the Tommies of the group, like in the first video. Meaning his human spirit would likely no longer be Luxmon, maybe. I don't know how this would exactly work in this fantasy setting. Again, it's all <laughs> made up, right? But maybe, like, TK yeah. would get a new spirit. Maybe he would go from, like, the Hope spirit to the Hope Armor spirit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just coming up with uh, a new Set Let's of see. them for Let's zero see. two for TK and Kari because it's more fun that way. So this time around, I think maybe TK could become Lusamon as his human really spirit. Now. Although Lusamon does, of course, have its fall down mode, its temptation to darkness, and Lusamon is kind of a rookie. It's a rookie level with the strength of way above rookie. So another pick I like is Aegicus Monholy, which, yes, is a ultimate level, but very much to me feels like a champion level. And as I don't True. super care about the levels of these Digimon, I think Aegicus Monholy so much looks like it could be a spirit Digimon, especially for TK. That I'm 
I'm happy with it. His beast spirit then, well, I wanted to go with something a little bit more reminiscent of Pegasus Mon, right? This is the Zero Two Spirit Digivolution video, which is when I thought perhaps his beast spirit could be Unimon. It's a connect I've made oh, before yeah. that Patamon has become yeah, Unimon okay. in the old V pets, and I think perhaps Pegasus Mon is an intentional nod to Patamon originally becoming Unimon on the old V pets, and actually Andromon wasn't on the same V pet as Patamon. Though another pick I do oh. like is Vajramon because it's got a lot of similar elements going on, but it's a little bit more grandiose as a Deva, and is coated in a little bit more red, but either way, Vajramon or Unimon do have red elements, which when combined with, let's say, Aegeacus Mon Holy, would make the hybrid mm -hmm. spirit Kentaurus Mon an absolute no-brainer. I've loved Kentaurus Mon as a Pegasus Mon evolution anyway. Pegasus Mon to tie Lin Mon to Kentaurus Mon usually, but having but, um, like Aegeacus Mon Holy as the human spirit, Unimon as yeah, the beast okay. spirit, and Kentaurus Mon as the hybrid spirit, adore that. Similarly, Kari is not short anymore, so she cannot become Sister Mon Blank as a human spirit, but, and I know this is technically a bit of censorship, but I think Sister Mon CL would be a fantastic human spirit evolution for Kari. Really? You could no. use Sister Mon Noir if you wanted to too, but I think Sister Mon CL, especially because we did give Sister Mon Blanc to Kari in the old one, the dresses feel a little bit more similar, and the whole Sister Mon feel yeah. kind of preserves the femininity a little bit of holiness, okay. but not as okay. fully angelic as an angel woman, more so a nun in service of a god. I think that works pretty well. For Kari's beast spirit, straight up, I'm just going to use Bastemon. It has the same Egyptian okay. connect as Nefertimon. Mon, Gato Mon's light armored edge evolution in Zero Two, and definitely Italy feels to me stuff. beastly in a similar way to Shutumon. And again, Kari is the other girl of this group, so she would probably have something similar going on to Zoe from Frontier. And Shutumon is one of the less mm -hmm. beastly looking beast spirits of that season, so Bastemon being a kind of half cat, half woman works for me. Yeah, and for the hybrid, fine. why not? Let's just go with a brand new Digimon Sandrilmon from Digimon Liberator. Ooh. It is this big glass slipper Cinderella Digimon. And I like the Damn, idea of really light being presented rather than just as holy in this instance as crystal. It's light bouncing around and reflecting. It's kind of fun. And I can 100% see how Systemon and Bastemon could fuse, could be put together under pressure to become <laughs> harder. I just realized, the way a whole shoes off, he's got to be walking around like Pamela Carmine from, no, from Hasbin Hotel. Diamond in Sendromon. And we talked a little bit about this last time, but it's interesting how in Frontier, all the kids' hair color changes when they spirit digivolve. And indeed, this would make Kari's hair turn from her brown hair to the blonde hair, more similar to that of Angelomon, which I like. But the runtime doesn't look like we've got one more kid, right? Well, that's because I'm actually going to do two. Because yes, we have Ken, who is a Digidestin and is reformed by the end of the season. However, yep. I also wanted to explore what it might look like if the Digimon Emperor spirit digivolved. Kind of really like now. how Koichi has his corrupted and purified darkness spirits. In this case, I would be giving Ken corrupted kindness and purified kindness spirits. So, <laughs> as the right. Digimon Emperor, Ken's corrupted human spirit would be... These would probably be just like Digimon of hate. Jokemon. Again, another ultimate level, however, I think it looks just like a champion, and its oh, yeah, wicked no, it nature I think works perfectly with Ken as the Digimon Emperor. Not to mention that Jokemon is, of course, used pretty intrinsically now as a Piedmon pre-evolution, and Piedmon oh. was one of the Dark Masters that caused so much trouble for the original Adventure Kids. Uh -oh. A nice connect back to Ken being one of the Dark Forces of Zero Two. And this Digimon reference book listing even talks about how it randomly appears in the battlefield, causes chaos, you're never quite sure whether it's on your side or not, which kind of speaks to the side changing that Ken does in that season. His beast spirit, I'm mm. going to go with Sang Loopmon. It has covered eyes, which I think visually were connecting back to Ken's goggles or glasses he has as the Digimon Glass. Emperor. Oh, and goggles. even those spikes and the way that the hair tuft pops up kind of reminds me of how Ken styles his hair when he's the Digimon Emperor in comparison to the more slick down hair he has when he's purified or redeemed. And finally, let's just make the hybrid spirit Dark Nightmon. Put Joker and Sang Lumon in a blender, you'd probably get Dark Nightmon. Dark Nightmon's reference book listing also says that it will use any means to achieve its goals and won't hesitate to get its hands dirty, and sometimes it'll even be willing to betray its own comrades. Which again, if you consider digi-destined comrades, then Ken betrayed them right out of the gate before being redeemed. But then oh, Ken yeah. has to be purified, of course. So for his purified kindness, I think it would be really cool if his human spirit was Petermon. It goes from black hair to blonde hair, a connection we quite like, that. and has that green vibe of Wormon, his partner Digimon. Also, if we gave Yoli Darkmon, I can definitely see how Petermon and Darkmon are similar Digimon. In fact, as Darkmon is a champion, her rookie very well could be Tinkermon, who has an intrinsic lore connection to Petermon. Uh -huh. The beast spirit, well, <laughs> there's some semi-lore to this, right? We know in the show that Ken Stingmon eventually DNA digivolves and becomes Pyildramon. There is also very very much, especially in the card games, a connection and implication that Ken Stingmon can either through DNA Digivolution or by itself become Dino Beamon, or indeed a very popular pick.
Sonic Jewel Beam, Beam, which seems to be a very intentional sting on evolution. But if we're looking for a B spirit, well, my B bias is taking over once again. Because <laughs> yeah, Forge Beam on I think would be a great B spirit for Ken. Connecting, like I say, to Jewel <laughs> Beam on and Dino Beam on, and the whole thing of like working for the Hive kind of feels like him being reintegrated into the Digi Destin. And also, I guess you yeah. could say that the Dark Spore children are kind of like a hive of Digi Destin too. Yeah, Finally, well, of course, if we're gonna get Peter Mon and Forge Beam on. I think a natural contender for the hybrid spirit would be Tiger Vespamon. I mean, look at it. Get Peter Mon, put him in Forge yeah. Beam armor. You've got Tiger Vespamon. But an outlier, I will <laughs> so say, obvious. I did touch on it earlier with the whole like, is Amphimon feminine or not? Is Lord Nightmon. Ken's kindness Digi Egg is very pink, resulting in Buchimon. It is kind of rose shaped, and Lord Nightmon is often depicted oh. with roses. So I also think Lord Nightmon so would be is. a fantastic hybrid spirit for Ken. Tiger Vespamon perhaps combines Peter Mon and Forge Beam on better, but Lord Nightmon. One has a lot of specific connects back to Ken and the Digi Egg and Crest of Kindness. Good so that's it. My idea is what might happen if the Zero Two Kids could Spirit Digivolve with existing Digimon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, I am not objectively correct. This is just my fun ideas. Maybe you got some fun ones too. I Don't do agree with some Thank of you them. to my sovereign ZDK14 over on Patreon.com forward slash EX and my Davis over on Patreon. Only one piece of custom art for the thumbnail in this video, but all of you made this possible. So thank you to Jeffrey Gibbons. <laughs> Alright everyone, that's going to be the end of today's video, and I hope you all enjoyed. Just remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link to the original will be in the description below, and I'll see all of y'all next time when we flick back on. Till then, this is Fox, signing out. Peace.